Welcome back to the show. Our next guest is James Sarkos, Chief of Police for the Atlantic City Police Department. Chief Sarkos, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, Mike. Thank you for having me. You know what? So glad that you're here. Listen, uh, so much to talk about, so little time. Uh, before we get into the nuts and bolts of Atlantic City and what it's like to be the Chief of Police or an officer uh, in law enforcement, Tell us a little bit about yourself, James. Where did you start, you know, coming up, uh, your love for law enforcement, and, and you know you have a very uh, unique family of different trades and whatnot, so yeah. all yours. Sure. So, uh, you know, I first decided I want to be a police officer from my experience as being an EMT for the Linwood Rescue Squad, and I started doing that when I was 16 years old. My brother had done it before me and kind of showed me the way that it was something pretty neat to experience. So I became an EMT at 16 and volunteered for the rescue squad. And when I did that, I got exposure to public safety and to the Linwood police officers. And I kind of started thinking about a career in law enforcement. I really liked the feeling of self-satisfaction you got by helping people in need. And you know, it was cool doing it the EMS route, but I thought law enforcement would be a little bit more exciting for me. So I think that's when I, when I really decided I wanted to be a police officer. So after high school, I became what's known as a class one special law enforcement officer for the Vetner Police Department. You work on the boardwalk, you enforce local ordinance violations or Title 39, which is motor vehicle violations. You go to the police academy for two weeks, you don't have a gun, you have a nightstick and pepper spray but it's a good introduction into the field of law enforcement. And I was doing that while I was attending Atlantic Cape Community College, where I was getting my uh, degree in criminal justice. Of course, back then it was just Atlantic Community College. But I uh, you know, went to ACC for a couple years, uh, did one year in Vetner as a class one, and then my second summer, I worked in Wildwood as a class two officer. I, I went to the Cape May County Police Academy, and class two is pretty interesting. You have all the powers as a full-time police officer, you have a gun, you have full arrest powers while you're working, but you have no powers when you're off duty. Unlike a full-time officer who has your powers 24-7, you can make arrest off duty, you can carry a weapon off duty. Class two only has those powers while they're working. But again, it's a really good way to get your, your feet wet and get into the field of law enforcement. So I did that for four summers in Wildwood. I did that in the summers 96, 7, 8, and 9. And during that time frame, I'd finished my degree from Atlantic Cape Community College. And then I went on to Stockton University where I got my bachelor's degree in criminal justice. Um, after 99, I was hired by the Linwood Police Department. And I worked a year for Linwood before I got picked up in Atlantic City, and I came over to Atlantic City in October 2000. And, and here we are today, the chief. So, you know, we are here at Stockton University, and I'm going to shift gears a little bit, but not really. Would you recommend still Class 1s? I don't know if they still have Class uh, class A's, was it? Or class class, one, yeah. class 1s or Class 2s for some of the students that, that are studying, uh, you know, criminal justice and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely would recommend it. So with the Atlantic City Police Department, when I was a special officer, Atlantic City didn't have specials. All they had was full-time officers. A lot of the short towns like Wildwood, Cape May, Stone Harbor, Sea Isle, Ocean City, they had special law enforcement officers. We started doing Atlantic City about 10 years ago. You know, we used to be a much bigger police department and we had to downsize because of financial issues, but we started hiring class two officers to kind of supplement that, that void that we needed to fill. So we have a whole contingent of class two officers and it is a great way to get experience and learn about law enforcement. And if anyone is interested in applying to be a class two officer, all you gotta do is go to the city's website, which is www acnj.gov, go to careers, you'll see special law enforcement officers and put in an application. And the other thing that's really cool about being a special law enforcement officer and being a college student is you can get college credit for the police academy. If you go to Atlantic Cape Community College, they'll give you 12 college credits. And if you go to Stockton, you can do a independent study. Right. If you go to Stockton University, you can do an independent study and you get four college credits. So it's a way for you to get experience, earn money and get college credits. I mean, so make sure you're listening out there, young men and women. Uh, it's a great way to get yourself started and uh, to transition into Atlantic City. I mean, at any one time, I mean, you, you talked about it a little bit uh, a minute or so ago. You know, you, you were probably at 440 maybe 10 years ago. 440 meaning uh, men yeah. and women working for the police department. 432 was our peak. F was it 442? In 1992. And today we are... Today we're at 268. So, and at any given time, Chief, uh, especially summer, months, spring, how many people could be in Atlantic City? And it, well, hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Yeah, hundreds That's of correct. thousands. You know, we see around 27 million visitors a year. Right. So if you look at our adjusted population where you factor in visitors, residents, commuters, I mean, everyone who the police department has to police, it's a couple hundred thousand people. 
Yeah, so, I mean, we have a population between 37 and maybe 39,000, but that's what a lot of folks don't understand. They say, you know, well, you had 432, and now you can do it, you should be able to do it with this. There's only 30, no, there's not only 39. On any given day, there could be 150,000 people in that city, whether it's an air show or a normal weekend uh, on a holiday or summertime. How do you, how do the men and women, you know, you're, you're talking a couple hundred, um, a reduction of force. How do you do it? I mean, it's uh, it sounds silly me to ask that, but yeah. the men and women are working super hard. Yeah. So one, I, I got to give credit to the men and women of the Atlantic City Police Department. I mean, they're an extraordinary group of individuals who roll up their sleeves every day and just come to get to work and want to help individuals and, and help those who are in need. And the the reason why we're successful is because of them, because of their dedication and determination. And what I find is that officers of the Atlantic City Police Department are passionate about Atlantic City, and failure is not an option for them. So they're going to do everything they can to get the job done. But we've done a lot of things over the years that acts as force multipliers, such as technology. We've done a lot of technology upgrades in the police department, and we have a lot of partnerships with local, county, state, and federal agencies who also act as a force, force multiplier for us. So, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that uh, on the second part of this interview. So the men and women, they come in, they're working, they're out there seeing uh, this mass of people at times, is there any intimidation like that? I mean, I, mean, I understand uh, public uh, uh, safety myself, retired corrections, but and I know when we used to do, you know, walking into a prison cell or whatnot, it gets a little tough to, but the men and women around me, I don't want to say I'm backing me, side by side, teamwork, and that's what it's all about. Sure. So, you know, this job, being a law enforcement officer, is very exciting, and you don't know what's going to happen from one moment to the next. And I think that's what, to me, what makes it a very enjoyable job, is I don't know what one day is going to bring compared to the next day. I'm not doing the same thing every day. I, I can truly say that no two days are ever the same in law enforcement. But it is challenging, and it is exciting, but I think what, what makes us strong is the bond that we have with our fellow law enforcement officers. So I know that every member of Atlantic City Police Department is going to back me up and have my back, and if something were to go down, I, I think I I have the best police department in the world backing me up. And there's no question you do. I mean, it's uh, world-renowned people from all over the world. As you just stated a few minutes ago, 27 million a year come to the city. Uh, we love it, and we love what you do. So, Chief, stay right where you're at. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back, continuing our discussion with Chief James Sarkos right after this break.